Morning and welcome back to another video. We have been having my least favorite problem here on the dairy farm lately, and that is this pump has been plugging up. I guess it's happened three times now. And uh, the reason I believe it's plugging up, it's kind of filled up with sand. It's coned up in the pit here. And all the straw and any excess material that isn't just straight liquid is plugging up that pump and not allowing it to pump. Luckily this morning though, I fired it up and it started pumping again. So whatever was in the way of the impeller cleared out. But uh, we have cleaned this pit out in the past, uh, about two years ago now. And we took all of the buildup out of there, all the sand, all the solid manure, and cleaned it right out. Didn't have problems for two years and now it looks like we're starting to get issues again. And I kind of wonder, I, I suspect it's because we've been putting too much sand in there. You kind of, as you're pushing the straw pack alleys in there, you know there's not supposed to go any straw in there, but you push a little bit in, oh, it keeps working good. Push a little bit more in there, it keeps working good. So on and so forth until you kind of hit that uh, line that you cross and you put too much in there and then you get issues. So I still believe it's it's uh, should work without ever needing to clean this pit out. Maybe I am being a little bit lazy, but uh, I want to avoid cleaning this pit out because it is a big job to do you got to put that lagoon pump in the lagoon and we just emptied it all the way down so I don't even know if there's enough liquid to do that right now you need actual liquid like settled out water kind of and uh, I don't think that's in the pit right now it's kind of frozen as well so if we can avoid cleaning this pit out that'll be ideal so later on today I'm gonna scoop out the straw packs in our pack barn and that should uh, reduce the amount of straw that's going in this pit anyway so the behavior analysis system that we're installing right now is uh, almost ready to go. I believe someone's going to come out today to certify that it's all set up good. And then we'll be putting ear tags in cows tomorrow or the day after. So really getting close to getting that up and running. Uh, one of the cool perks with that system, you need Wi-Fi in the barns. So if I'm all the way at the back of the freestyle barn now, I have pretty good Wi-Fi and I can just make calls over Wi-Fi and shoot texts and all that kind of stuff from the barn, which was always something that was annoying. You'd be in the barn working with cows, you need to be on the phone with someone, and you just didn't have good reception. Now there's Wi-Fi everywhere, and uh, that's not gonna be a problem anymore, so that's pretty cool. This is the straw pack I'm talking about, and it's pretty full now. A lot of straw kind of falls off the edge, especially after we put bedding in, comes into the alley goes into the slot back here and that's how it makes its way into that pit you can see some of it has been pushed to the side here which is good I got a heifer on the close-up pack that I got to wrap this morning she's got hairy heel wart so we're gonna sort her out to bring her into the hoop trim chute this is our girl here you can see she limps a little bit Hopefully we can get fixed up. Got the girl in the chute here and we're gonna lift her leg up. It's the front right leg. see she's calmed right down she just let me lift her leg up some cows know you're trying to help them out so that's what it is it's a nasty little sore on the back of the leg luckily though it's really easy to treat we're just gonna clean it off and then we'll put some topical antibiotics on there which is fine because she's not milking yet so we're able to get away with that otherwise we got to use a non antibiotic solution
So we'll pick her out in a couple days again, probably wrap it one more time, and shortly after that she'll probably not even limp anymore. Hairy heelwort always looks really bad, but as soon as you treat it really quickly after, the cows are better, so it just needs to be done. Obviously, uh, we don't see it as bad in the cow barn, just because those cows are always running through the copper sulfate foot bath, which is made to prevent cows from getting hairy heelwort. But uh, if they're not going through that foot bath, then they're gonna get hairy heelwort sometimes, and then you gotta wrap them. We are heading over to my sister Nalene's goat farm right now. She's trying to load up some wood onto a truck. They're picking it up. I guess they ordered a little more than they needed or the wrong boards or something. So I'll put a picture of that up on the screen right now. She's got a skid steer out there and uh, that's hers. I don't know if I've showed you guys it yet. We'll go check it out here in a second. But uh, she can't lift it on the truck. So she asked if I could come out with the wheel loader. But if I look at that picture, I think if we hand bomb like 10 boards onto the truck, and then lift it up with the skid steer. It'll probably lift it. So I'm gonna go help her out with that right now and see if we can get it loaded. And then of course we get to check out the progress on the corrals, which is exciting. What's the start button? This is park and you have to pr make sure the green light is off, off that thing, because then you can move everything around. It's is it good now? Yeah. Do I have to turn park off again? Okay. Yeah. It's just a couple here. Did you do the same thing? I did the exact same thing. Sick. <laughs> Got the boards on. Just hand bombed a couple off, made the load a bit lighter. Pretty sweet skid steer. It's got different controls than our bobcats, so it's something you gotta get used to. Well, that is a sweet unit. It's got the side door. Fancy stuff. So these are the goat corrals. Yep. We're standing in one of four goat corrals right now. Nice. <laughs> and they're all going to be full of goats. <laughs> That's sweet. So how many goats are going to fit in one corral? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm hoping maybe 80 to 100-ish. Okay. But yeah. I'll uh, be feeding them round bales or through the front there. That's kind of why we left it. Just four boards there so they can stick their head through and eat. But Okay. That's not really goat tendency, so we'll have to figure something out, but yeah. We're going to put a shelter here in the back. We can cozy up in the winter and they'll be nice and warm. Sweet. So yeah, this is, this is pen number two and there's two more on the other side. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four. Awesome. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to fill it with goats. <laughs> and where can they see more of this goat farm if they want? They can see more at a dairy on the prairie. <laughs> Sick. Linked in the description down below.
thank you. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about smashing those boards there. That's okay, I did it too before you came. <laughs> They're still all in mint condition though, those boards, right? I believe so, yes. someone might watch this video and be slightly concerned. <laughs> Yeah, they're all okay, I think. Well, that's good. Yeah, you can see one, two, three, and four. Some nice facilities, man. Yeah, I have heated water bowls, so I don't have to water them in the winter. <laughs> that's fancy. Yeah. I was just in the freestyle barn lifting those guys up so they could work on the antennas on the roof, and then I noticed the Juno drove off the ledge again at the end of our freestyle barn, so. Got the loader here, we can carry it back right away. There she is once again, back on her spot. Cows are so smart, I tell ya. Hey, it's a great idea, let's take a crop right in front of our feed pusher. So before it drives through our food, oh man, what do you do? Got all the cows off our straw pack. It is uh, probably two and a half to three feet right there of straw pack, so it's good time to get this cleaned out and hopefully that's gonna lead to less straw going in our alley. Making some pretty good progress. A couple more scoops in this pack will be cleaned out. But uh, I notice the milkers are almost done group one over there. And I sorted two cows for AIing them. I'll quickly AI them before, and then they can go back into group one and we won't have to move a bunch of gates after milking. I needed 36 and 61. Looks like we got those two cows. We'll just line them up in the palpation rail here. So we just got them AI'd. And that right there is the reason why I wanted to do it before group one was done. Otherwise we gotta move all those gates again to put them back over. There's eight gates right there, another one here. So uh, it's a lot easier to do it like this. As I'm scooping this concrete away, you guys might see a little bit of steam coming from that straw pack. That's because the stuff is pretty warm. Uh, if I put my hand on a bit of concrete here where I just scooped the straw pack away, it's like borderline hot. So that just shows you this stuff it ferments and uh, that's not great for cows in the summertime. And that's why sand bedding is so much better. It's because it doesn't ferment. Obviously, if you have deep bedding straw in your bed to keep it clean enough, it's not gonna ferment with a bunch of crap in there. But a bedding pack like this, it does permeate some heat up in the summer. So uh, you have to compensate that with some good ventilation and then it's fine. 
But uh, it's a really good thing and for the cows that are in the corrals throughout the winter time. They lay down and that straw pack, it permeates heat up and it keeps the cows a little bit warm. It's like having a heated mattress out there when it's minus 30 outside. It's pretty nice for those ladies. Well, that is what it takes. Six bales, we've got six canola bales here. Take the net wrap off of them, shake them out with that wheel loader. Get this place bedded up again. I guess it is also on me though, uh, to not get a lot of straw in that alley. I shouldn't pile up a bunch there because then the cows are just gonna kick it over. So we gotta make sure we don't overfill this edge. gonna rinse out the bucket here we got a hose that puts out hot water right by the vet room for the winter time if we get a bucket dirty and we can uh, rinse it off good you might comment what about the hot sea pressure washer uh, that thing didn't work I uh, was lucky enough to get that job done before it actually started freezing outside with that uh, liquid manure tanker there They just grabbed this milking pack and brought them up into the holding area. They were unable to scrape this alley this afternoon because I had the cows here. So uh, we're just gonna scrape it now.